tell I'm going fishing. Marina, just waiting on my friend to get here. We can start fishing, finally. Uh-oh, there he is. There he is. My guy. <laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? We made it. We are at the Hammer Marina. And... Come on, bitch. What's up? My friend Brian knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's good. This is the first time you guys have probably seen him, but we've been fishing together for about four years. About now. four years, long time, long time. So, what are we, what are we gonna do today? Basically, today we're gonna be going after lake drum. We'll be using night crawlers rigged up on the bottom, and then we'll also see if there's any catfish or anything out there. Really easy to do at this spot. Really fun for anybody who just wants to fish for something easy. Yeah. Uh, we've been here many times before, and luckily it's a bit overcast now. It is gonna be sunny, so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Cause everybody loves to catch fish. Stay tuned. What are you using today, Brian? So basically, I have a nine foot medium heavy action salmon rod. Typically you need a long rod for fishing out here on Lake Michigan like this. And basically I have 12 pound trialene monofilament on here. It's just the regular clear white. What you do is you take an eagle claw weight slip. And with this, all this wind and all these waves, you typically want about an ounce to a two ounce weight on here. Tie on just a brass swivel. And then following that, I have trialene eight pound low vis green as a leader and I have a Mustad number two size hook with a night crawler just hooked right through the head. Let's cast it out, let's see what we can get on it. All right, let's do it. There's a small mouth down there that we just saw. There was a small, yeah. Go for it.
got one. He got one. Bring him over here. Bring him. Wait, are you on the right side or the left side? Dang, man. God, this rod almost went in the water, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, so we've been fishing for maybe four hours now. We're gonna switch spots. I had a hook up with a lake drum, but it got off before we got even close to the whole pier, so you know, that's pretty much all we've got so far. Frustrating, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get some fish at this new spot, so stay tuned. Hey guys, we'd like to welcome you to Powderhorn Lake, located right next to the highway. <laughs> yeah, this is a very uh, scenic lake. You'll see uh, it right behind me. Uh, I see some ducks over there, I think. Uh, we're also located right next to a scrapyard over there. Let me tell you something. There is a high chance of us pulling up an arm, a leg, a baby, some some dead, something, I don't know. Bro. And hey, look, it's a South Shore line. That's nice. All right, guys, hopefully we'll get some. Hopefully. Right, so we're at a new a new spot that last spot was you can see it actually is over there it was terrible terrible shallow terrible weed. i don't know what we were doing there but it looks here it actually looks like you're supposed to fish here um, they got the sign there's people fishing over there so we're gonna see we're gonna go ahead and fish at our own risk apparently so let me come in and um i'm gonna basically tell you guys what we were doing so to begin the day off we were at the hammer marina bottom fishing and the rigs that we were using which is real simple standard bottom fishing rigs we use a one and a half to two ounce weight um slip weight and you uh, connect the barrel swivel to that and then leader line and a hook now i don't really want to trash talk these hooks but mustad hooks are not very sharp out of the box you're either going to need to go with a different brand something like a gamagatsu or a trocar or you need a, a hook sharpener to sharpen those uh, mustads up they, um, honestly, you get what you pay for. Gamagatsus are like five, six bucks a pack, um, and these mustaches were two fifty a pack. So you really do what you want to do, but I, I believe the reason that Brian lost that fish is because the hooks were not sharp enough, and therefore he did not get a really good hook set. So that's basically the rig we we're going over. I just wanted to interject here real quick, um, just to tell you guys in case you didn't fully understand when we said it first, if the wind was bad or whatever. I just wanted to let you guys know what we're using so you guys can get out and go do it yourselves. So, back to the video. All right, so I just got this little bass. It's really pretty really pretty on uh simple as rig just a bobber with a night crawler see if we can get some more maybe a little bigger hopefully but pretty fresh anyway go for the release right, Here goes. maybe right on it. yep hopefully i got one on it might just be a whole bunch of weeds but i saw it getting hit so i decided to check it That's a lot of weeds. That's a lot of weeds. I'm telling you, this is weedy, man. Got another one. Yep. Yeah. Little, little bigger. Really, nice, really pretty fish. Nice one. Beautiful top fin right there. Look at that. Nice little bass. There you go. Let's get some more. All right. Going for the release on the bass. Oh, he's got life. All right, guys. We're going to wrap up the day. Uh, it was tough. But it was also fun and it was a learning experience. I don't think that they're quite in fully in the harbors and uh, off the rocks, but there are some scattered around. I mean, he caught or 
hooked one and then it got off right at the rock yeah. so I hooked a drum it's it's probably still gonna warm up a bit it's probably a little too early you know we're kind of at the end of spring you know once summer gets going pretty sure the drum will be a bit better mm -hmm. yeah so it was it was a fun day tough day but hope you guys enjoyed it you know what I had? no see you guys see you later